Now I can't see anything because I can't see the screen with my sunglasses on. Noob Nugs. Hey everybody, I'm Bonnie, one of your Florida State Representatives, and welcome to Noob Nugs. This is the series where we answer questions for all of our new Jeep sisters about everything Jeep lifestyle. We've talked about road trips before on Noob Nugs. And in case you didn't know, I love a road trip. I love everything that surrounds a road trip. I love meeting up with people. I love going places. I love doing new things, like seeing new things. Road trips are great. But what do you do when you're in a convoy? There's a lot of my Jeep life that does not happen on the trail. And one of the things I love doing is getting together with the ladies and taking road trips and driving in a caravan or a convoy to a new place. And we talk a lot about trail etiquette and how much spacing you're supposed to leave between Jeeps, but we don't really talk about what you do on the road. So today on Noob Nugs, we are going to talk about convoy etiquette. There's a lot going on right there. Do you see something missing right here? Convoy etiquette is just as important as trail etiquette just for different reasons. Have you ever been following somebody and you got stuck at that red light and that person in front of you took off? Did you ever miss a turn because the person in front of you was so far in front of you that you didn't see if they made the right or left turn at that intersection? These are all really important parts of convoy etiquette. Convoy etiquette in many ways mirrors what we do on the trails. You want to make sure that your radio is on. And yes, bring a radio on a road trip. It's really important because it can help you with directions. Where it gets different is when it comes to traffic, speeds, that normal daily driving that we don't really think about becomes a critical part of our convoy etiquette. For example, on trails, we say that you've got to leave at least a Jeep length between you and the Jeep in front of you. That is not necessarily applicable on the road. When you're on the road, you actually kind of want to be closer to the Jeep in front of you. Safe distance to be sure, because you don't want to be rear-ended if someone comes up too fast behind you and then you smack the gal in front of you. The biggest challenge I've always had with convoys on the road is when someone leaves too big of a gap between you and the Jeep in front of you. Part of convoy etiquette is being responsible. Yes, we are following the Jeep in front of us, but that does not absolve you from your responsibility of knowing where we're going. We all have Google Maps. Plug in the address. This can be really helpful because if you get separated from your convoy, which let's be real, it can happen based on traffic patterns, that will help you get to the location where everyone's going to be. And then everybody knows that you'll be there eventually. <laughs> Another good tip is to go on a road trip or a, be in a caravan or a convoy of people that you trust. If you're somebody who likes the cruising altitude of 65 and I'm somebody who likes to drive 80, we might not be the best road trip buddies. That is something that we need to talk about before we hit the gas pedal and roll on out for our trip. Treat your road trip slash convoy the same way you treat a trail ride. Go talk to people, find out what the route is gonna be, find out where the gas stations are, and don't show up without gas because we all hate that. The rules in that way are so much the same. You have to be responsible for yourself and your Jeep. Road trips are so much fun. Clearly, I love them. The most important thing about being on a road trip in a convoy is not leaving too much space, paying attention to everything that's happening around you. Bring your radio so that way you can be an active participant. Have the address of where you're going so you can have it plugged into your navigation. And then just have fun. Road trips are so awesome. I can't wait for my next one. I don't even know where that's gonna be just yet. What is my next road trip? I think it's March for the extravaganza. And by the way, here's a little sneak peek for March. We're doing an entire series on how to take good Jeep photos, how to create a cool Jeep video. Stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Noob Nugs. If you have any questions, any topics you'd like to see us cover here on Noob Nugs, please email noobnugs at ladyjeepers.com. And thanks as always to Lady Jeepers for allowing me the time to share these Noob Nugs with you. If you'd like to see previous episodes of Noob Nugs, please visit my YouTube channel, Over Noobin, where I'm noobing my way through Jeep learning, camping adventures, and overlanding experiences. I hope you're out there living your best Jeep life, and we'll see you next time. Every time, noob nugs, noob nugs, noob nugs, b -b 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 noob nugs, noob nugs.